Okay, yeah, we're back on for part two. Yeah, this this camera, for whatever reason, it cuts files every 12 minutes, probably so it doesn't make uh, one big huge file or whatever. There's probably a way to change that, I don't know. But anyway, um, going back to my story here, yeah. Um, with the women's studies class that I attended was very, very, very eye-opening or whatever. I, I never thought that... Uh, I never thought that women viewed the world in that way. I never thought, I never, it was my first time in my life that I actually saw uh, women actually state that, you know, yeah, we're here to use guys for utility. There are basically, there are firefighter, police, army, etc. If a woman's got a problem, she's going to pick up her fucking phone, dial some number in some man somewhere, fireman, utility man, Army man, police man, weed man, whatever the fuck, some man with a penis is going to come show up and fix her problems, basically. 99% of the time or whatever, right? So a lot of women grow up with this basically entitlement idea that men are here to serve them, especially if you grow up in liber liberal ass California and where I'm from, which is a fucked up state, by the way. But it's like, yeah, if <laughs> growing up like that, it's like, how are you going to deal with this? I mean, a lot of people wonder why, you know, hey, Jimmy, why, why are you in Thailand? Why are you in Southeast Asia? Why are you in Africa? Why are you here? Well, I mean, shit, I get treated better there. It's nice to not, it's nice to get treated like something other than a fucking utility here to serve you like a goddamn robot. Okay. You know, I like to lay my black ass on the massage table, too, and get serviced. I like to be pampered. Fuck that. I like people to cook for me. I like getting pedicures, manicures. I, I do everything. Everything that a woman would do for herself, basically, I'll do that shit for myself for my own self-care and maintenance, all right? That means I'll buy all my own vitamins, products, health this, health that, the best nutrients, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas before, I used to cut all those corners for myself so I can give it all Give it all to my wife, girl, this, that, whatever. So she's looking good and smelling good and feeling good and whatever. But myself being neglected. Before, I used to wear little uh, $1 t-shirts every day. Bought in bulk, of course, from eBay. With PayPal from eBooks or some other shit I used to sell. You know, I never took... I never invested in myself or in my own armor, and as a result, my own body, it suffered. I gained weight. I got unhealthy. I lost muscle. I got this. I did everything possible, and this is the, the trap a lot of uh, married men fall into or whatever, too. Um, you become very unattractive to women when you stop taking care of yourself, when you stop doing all the cool shit that you used to do, that chicks used to like you for. When you, you know, when I got rid of their, oh, I'm married now. I got to get rid of my race cars. I got to I got to sell my house and buy a bigger one. I got to, I got to keep her happy, man. You know, fuck. But in the meantime, you know, a pimp's house is falling apart. You know, my temple's falling apart and I can't have that anymore. So basically, I've learned to make myself the number one priority, um, not in a sense where I go and neglect the rest of the world or whatever. But as long as I take care of myself first and take care of my shit, I'm in a much better position to go and uh, meet and greet and fuck with the world or whatever. You know, I, I'm much able to give more of myself to you guys on this channel and other products and stuff that I produce. Bye bye, wink, wink. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm able to give back a lot more to the world. You could give all, basically, here's my point here. I could give all of my resource and energy to one woman, you know, who don't give a fuck about me most of the time, which is the, the case of most married men, by the way. Or I could spread that love to myself and then distribute it and grow it throughout the world or whatever. And that's what I've chosen to do, you know. A lot of guys are in like this this dead end tunnel, you know, in their relationships or whatever. You know, they've shit's grown tired. They've girl don't respect them no more. She don't want your ass there no more. She tired of looking at you. She tired of hearing you fucking breathe. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. If girls out there, you know what I'm talking about. Give me a thumbs up. If you just can't wait to get that nigga off the couch and you can't wait to kick him out and you're already plotting on ways to get him fucking locked up, fucked up and take the kids and run off. I already know it. I've been there. I've been that guy. I know exactly what a very large percentage of girls are going through who are in like live in type of relationships and whatever. It's the, it can be the motherfucking pits, believe me, for both people, by the way. And like they say, that, that happy wife, happy life axiom is a little true. If your girl ain't happy, she's going to cause fucking misery to you and everyone within her vicinity, you know, or voice, <laughs> wherever her voice will carry. How about that? So, yeah, man.
But yeah, man, hey, like I said, about these pictures on the wall, I don't be doing things that a lot of chicks in my family would do. My mom's, aunties, cousins, this and that and shit like that. If they didn't like somebody, and I don't know if I mentioned this before, if they didn't like somebody, for whatever reason, they would actually get scissors and cut out the cutout of their picture in like family pictures and shit like that i used to see all these like cut out pictures and family albums and shit and i thought it was strange man denial is not good man you got to face your problems head on you know what i'm saying about one two as you guys might see there's probably well from walmart i printed about 200 photos or whatever out of those 200 photos there might be about only about three girls that have problems with me personally and vice versa or whatever. But I still put their pictures up on the fucking wall because they're a part of my psyche or memory or whatever. And I don't want to actually exclude that painful part or whatever of my memories or whatever. Memories are, you can't always have good, pleasurable, happy memories. It's not life. It's not realistic. You got to mix in the fucking shit crumbs with that too so that you don't get more shit crumbs in the future and you remember what shit crumb people look smell act and behave like or whatever right is what it is you guys you know call me out on whatever if you want to that's what this channel's for if you guys don't like it if you don't like me talking about you and you know i'm talking about you then make a goddamn reply video that's what the internet or youtube's for but a lot of people you know hurt and damaged women have huge fucking egos they will die before their fucking ego or, oh, whatever. They're, they're very self-righteous and shit. And that's not healthy. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of those girls, they want to, how they say, uh, take their final stand on that hill of their ego or their reputation. And they don't realize that overall, don't nobody give a fuck about you if you're a hater. For real. And people can look around you and see if your life is not filled with friendly, smiling faces. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a whole bunch of pictures where people are smiling and happy and shit for real and not with fake smiles like that and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, your life is fucked up. You're living a fraudulent life. I don't have to do any of that, really. I don't, other than the, the shoot photos, none of these pictures are staged or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling them to go, hey, look, you pretend to be happy. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it is what it is. It's real life or whatever. And once you basically let go of them haters as they say shake them haters off shit's uh shit's easier and it got easier for me so yeah so there's probably some more topics i should be talking about or missing or neglecting on this shit here there's so many fucking pictures on the wall i just need to actually uh go through them one day or whatever but that's really what i'm talking about here the, the message today is just don't don't let for guys out there don't let don't let a girl and it's usually just one or two or something don't let one or two girls fuck your life up and turn you off to women entirely and make you don't let those one or two women actually convince you that all women are the same because they are not they are drastically not there are girls that are the absolute polar opposite of the girls i've described and that's who the other 90 99 98 percent of the wall is up there you know what i'm saying girls that are that are lovers they love men they love guys they love being around guys everything about them you know what i'm saying and they're basically fans. What better? <laughs> I love fans. I love my fans, actually, you know, and yeah, I just have a much bigger heart and I have a much bigger, better, richer life experience with girls that want to be on the team, that want to be down. They want to be riders. They want to fuck with what I'm fucking with. They're not trying to dominate and tower over me and dictate which direction or path that I'm going. Rather, they want to join me. They see where the fuck I'm headed and they're like, hey, I want to get in the fucking passenger seat and ride. I want to ride in the top down with shimmy cash. Exactly. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, ho, as they say. Let's go. So that's who I'm fucking with now, basically. I'm not fucking with a girl that wants to get in the car and do a fucking U-turn and go back that direction. That's She can find somebody else who can go along with her for her plan. But I'm not the one for her. That's that's really what needs to be done. You know, everyone needs to either be... A, you need to be either on your own path or jump in my car and we can go. But we're not going to go in opposite directions and do all kinds of ridiculous, you know, back and forth ideology battles about who the fuck's right and whose method is correct and this and that. I'm not... I'm not not here to be dominated and controlled and you know <laughs> watched over and shit like that it ain't for me it ain't gonna fly it's not gonna happen on the shimmy show 
And that's all I got to say about that, for real. This should probably continue to a part three or part four, I think, actually, because there's a lot of shit I want to talk about. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I brought up here, type to me below, leave it back or whatever, and I'll be happy to write you back or get you back on this shit. But I had to do this show. I just had to because... I feel like whenever I feel like something is in me, I have to express it and pretty much get it out. And it helps me get on with shit, you know, and I, I really like to help people. If I can help you go when you're going through a lot of this shit, the average guy in a relationship or a marriage is going to go through this shit at some point in his life. So if I could help you with this or whatever, or if I have been helpful to me. You know, let me know or whatever. I know the, your wife is over the keyboard watching you right now, some of you. But I mean, it's like I'm here. I understand if you guys don't subscribe, don't whatever. Some people are in hostage type of situations in their marriage. Some of you better not even get caught looking at this. You better play this shit in incognito mode <laughs> or whatever or some shit so your bitch wife doesn't find it or whatever. Right. But for real, I'm telling you the truth of how I resurrected myself and it's basically i had to get these witchy fucking women out of my life and replace them with better ones ones that don't hate men how about that for a change right so i guess on the next show i should talk about more about red flags warning signs what to look out for more quotes that i have heard and shit like that that i've taken to heart and a lot of these hoes they'll actually dig into your shit deeply to find out what specifically may hurt you just so they could really get under your skin they have nothing better to do with their time that's why they're non-productive and aren't going anywhere their whole goal or focus in life is to control you why do they have to work for anything if they can control you like a robot so anyway fuck i'm out of here this battery's going out this is the shimmy show hashtag the shimmy show out of here Bye.